five life saving facts you must know about umbrella insurance. Umbrella insurance gives you peace of mind when it comes to protecting the things that matter most. Life's full of surprises, sometimes bad, and your umbrella policy is there to cover some situations that aren't covered by your primary policies. While most people have heard about umbrella insurance, not everyone understands how it works. Here are five facts about umbrella coverage that could come in handy when misfortune strikes. Welcome back, folks, to the Sweetie Kiwi Show. I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are doing as marvelous as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or <laughs> some <or two>. cool. <laughs> and let's roll. Today, I want to talk to you about Bell Insurance. Before I get into another video, let me quickly give a shout out to Alicia Saunders. She is in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Rosie Dawson. She is in Johnson City, Tennessee. And Lauren Stewart in Memphis, in the beautiful state of Tennessee. Alicia, Rosie, and Lauren, we really appreciate your contribution. Thanks for suggesting today's topic all the way from Tennessee. Now, here are a few things you need to know about an umbrella policy. Before we even talk about the last, the last seven facts, I just want to give you uh, quick pointers about insurance, about umbrella policy. Now, what is an umbrella insurance policy? Now, you want to think of umbrella insurance as an additional financial safety net. This is very important, right? This is the kind of safety net you, you hope to never need it. You never need but it does provide substantial protection of your asset and future but the most important thing as any kind of uh, insurance what umbrella insurance policies provide is what peace of mind all right and this is basically gives giving you an extra layer of liability coverage over and above many type of many types of uh, policies I'm talking here watercraft motorcycle home automobile some recreational vehicles that kind of stuff right so if you god forbid if you face a significant claim or lawsuit umbrella coverage will help pay for the outstanding cost right so you can preserve your life savings or you don't have to sell off your hard-earned asset all right now the, the the thing you need to think about here is that let me give you an example let's say you cause a car accident that amounts to let's say a million we're just gonna try to keep things easy, right? A million dollars worth of damage, right? And your auto policy limit is 700,000. Your insurer will cover the 300,000, right? Uh, you know, your, insur your insurer will cover what? The 700,000, and you'll be left to pay the remaining 300,000 on your own, right? But if you have a an umbrella insurance policy, they will cover the 300,000. So your savings are preserved. You don't have to, you know, tap into anything. You don't have to sell off any cars or any any home, whatever, no. Now, what is what is covered is, it depends. What is covered is variable. Actually, what matters is who is covered. Now, an umbrella, with umbrella coverage, you have your you and your spouse, Anyone named on your policy could be uh, your children, so relatives living with you, your legal uh, representative, right, if you were to pass away. If you have a personal liability umbrella policy, this can also cover your business, your personal belongings. So if you have physical damage to rented property, so rental car, for instance, if something happens, if, the, the, if there's liability assumed by an insured under any contract or agreement, not in writing, that's very important. Now, when do you need personal umbrella insurance? It really depends on your lifestyle. Though. It really depends. Everybody has a different situation, so you want to talk to your insurance broker. But in general, and this is the this is the intent of today's show. We're not really giving insurance advice or financial advice for that matter. Everybody's situation is different. This is more information only. This is general information, right? So you want to contact a broker to sort of pinpoint or narrow down the options that are available to you. But you might want to consider a personal liability umbrella policy if you travel, if you have dogs, for instance, right? If you have a swimming pool or, or trampoline in, in your house, if you own a home or rental properties, if you coach youth sports team, if you drive a car or participate in carpools, right? If you own a, an, an ATV, a snowmobile, or a 
a boat. Those are, those are instances where you might want to consider buying a personal liability umbrella policy. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are now talking about, you know, now that you understand what umbrella insurance is, let's talk about the five ways umbrella insurance can be handy, right? Before I do this, please, if you like the content that we are sharing so far, consider subscribing to our channel, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any future shows, comment below, share and like this content. We really appreciate it. We want to give a shout out to Heaven Harold in Wheeling, West Virginia, Charlie McDaniel in Parkersburg, West Virginia, and Milana Branks in Beckley, West Virginia. So Heaven, Charlie, and Milana, thank you so much for your help. Five ways umbrella insurance can be handy. Now, number one, umbrella insurance covers legal defense costs. Something happens, right? If you're sued, your umbrella insurance will cover your defense, your defense costs. In most cases and this is very important regardless of fault right so this is very when I'm talking about legal defense costs what am I talking about really I'm talking about the amount that your attorney will charge you for legal services plus additional expenses and cost for instance filing fees and court costs photocopy telephone and postage charges paralegal time, messengers, computer or research related costs, secretarial and staff time, deposition and court reported costs, faxes, experts, consultants and witness fees, investigators, process servers, this, this, is, this relates to the delivery of legal documents relating to the case, and travel expenses. So the thing here is that this cost can really add up quickly, especially if you are involved in a major case and you are sued. You are sued because, you know, God forbid something major happens, there is damage to somebody's property and the amounts are huge. The legal defense costs can go up pretty quickly. So an umbrella insurance policy will cover those. All right. Number two. An umbrella insurance policy will offer personal injury coverage. Personal in injury this is very important. Now, you know, you, the, the thing is that one great way umbrella insurance will cover you in the modern world is that you can add coverage for something called libel, slander, and defamation of character. Right? Now, let me just kind of quickly break those down because those are like... Uh, uh, legalese that not everybody understands. Now, what's defamation? Defamation is a false and unprivileged statement of fact that is harmful to someone's reputation and published with fault, meaning as a result of negligence or malice. State laws often define defamation in specific ways. So basically, you are damaging somebody's reputation that, you know, and because the, the statement is false. So you have lied or you made a mistake because of negligence, you, you didn't fact check something and you just talked about somebody in a defamatory way, right? So now what is libel? Libel is a written defamation and slender is a spoken defamation. So those are definitely, you know, the the uh, the same thing here. It's just the libel is written and the slender is, uh, is spoken, all right? Now, the thing here is that if somebody sues you for defamation, libel, or slandering, and you have uh, personal injury coverage under umbrella insurance, you get coverage for a lot of stuff. But most importantly, you get coverage for something called personal injury protection. Now, that covers everything from all reasonable medical costs. You have um, rehabilitation therapies. You have funeral services. That, again, is if there is... Um, if there is, for example, some kind of car accident, and people lie based, you know, people lie based on who is at fault, that kind of stuff, or for instance, um, you have defamation that is th that the court has uh, attributed to you, or as you being the guilty part, 
an umbrella insurance policy will cover that. An umbrella insurance policy will also cover things such as the replacement of necessary services provided by the injured party, such as family care or household maintenance. All right, I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of uh, Sweetie Kiwi. I'm still here talking about five life-saving facts you must know about umbrella insurance in 2020. I've already given you two life-saving facts. Number three, umbrella insurance protects assets and future earnings. Let me quickly uh, give a shout out to some of our, some of our viewers in the United States, including Eliza Rush in Westchester, Ohio. Malia Robertson in Upper Arlington, Ohio, and Ruby Roberts in Mason, Ohio. So I was saying earlier that umbrella insurance protects asset and future earnings. So, you know, if you have saved a lot, if you've saved all your life, and again, the the because umbrella insurance covers the gap between the present value of your assets, right? And the let's say the original invoice price of the property in case of an unexpected event what i'm trying to say here is that you know the the an umbrella insurance policy protects your prop property when a legal judgment surpasses your existing insurance coverage right so that is very good because it protects your assets and future earn earnings future earnings is very important because your assets are related to your future earnings the more money you make the the, the more likely that your asset will increase if, of course, your debts remain stable or reduced, right? So if you're able to work, if you're able to, to invest more money, that means that you are able to grow your earnings and uh, portfolio. And this, all of this, thanks to an umbrella insurance policy. Number four, an umbrella insurance policy gives extra protection over vehicles this is very important here i want i want to really really because if you have uh depending on your lifestyle vehicle is not just a car right if you have a boat a motorcycle a snowmobile an atv utv this is very important an umbrella insurance policy provides you an extra layer of protection you know if you add this, if you add it, of course, to your home or an auto insurance policy, all right? The thing here is that, of course, the coverage here is comprehensive, but there are some exclusions and you need to be aware of those. So the damage is expected or intended by the insured. The, li li the liability arising from certain exotic vehicles, such as aircraft and jet skis, and damages to your own properties. So those are exclusions that you need to be aware of. The last life-saving fact you must know about umbrella insurance is that it provides global coverage. And this is this is this can come in very handy if you're planning, for example, on traveling abroad, right? An umbrella policy is a great travel companion. So let's say you, you get involved in an accident abroad and you want some extra protection on the road, your umbrella policy gives you that added secu security. And the good thing is that it is it is really great if you have if you're doing a family travel abroad, right? Because there is there are no uh, territory restrictions. It applies worldwide. Of course, it is subject to access and retention provisions, but it is a guarantee against the threat of high dollar third party claims arising from personal acts or use of non-owned automobiles in distant places. For example, you rent you rent a car, you get involved in an accident, you get sued by a local and the amount is pretty high, your auto your umbrella insurance policy will cover that. All right? Another thing that is also important is that you want to kind of have the the uh, the peace of mind. Because if you're traveling abroad, first of all, it's already hard to have peace of mind back home. Now think about if you're traveling elsewhere you are in a foreign country you know just the 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 the, the possibility the ability to think that you're covered that everything is fine is it's wonderful it's fantastic it's actually uh, invaluable you can't quantify but it is so important 
So this is it, folks. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are about to wrap up today's conversation and uh, just want to quickly give you uh, the context of today's conversation. Umbrella insurance gives you peace of mind when it comes to protecting the things that matter most. Life is full of surprises, sometimes bad, and your umbrella policy is there to cover some situations that aren't covered by your primary policies. While most people have heard about umbrella insurance, not everybody understands how it works. In today's show, I've given you five facts about umbrella coverage that could come in handy when misfortune strikes. What are those five facts? They are Umbrella insurance covers legal defense costs. It offers personal injury coverage. It protects asset and future earnings. It gives extra protection over vehicles. It provides worldwide coverage. I want to quickly acknowledge some of our uh, viewers and listeners and fans worldwide, specifically in the United States. I'm thinking about Zara Turner in Juliet, Illinois. Maria Doyle in Naperville, Illinois. And Rose Mills in Springfield, Illinois. Thank you so much, Zara, Maria, and Rose. We really appreciate it. What is today's call to action? We've talked about five life-saving facts you must know about umbrella insurance. I've explained to you a few things about an umbrella policy, what it is, who is covered by uh, an umbrella policy, and, and when you need this kind of insurance uh, policy. Now, I want to give you a few things to consider before buying umbrella insurance. Number one, please shop around. You know, don't take the first offer, shop around. Only buy insurance to maintain your existing standard of living, nothing else. Ask your insurance provider specifically what the policy doesn't cover. Doesn't cover. All right. Another thing is consider bundling multiple policies with one insurance carrier so you can save money. You want to review your insurance needs on an biannual or annual basis. Never defer payments. And one of the things that's very important, and this applies not only not only to umbrella insurance but also all kinds of insurance, is that. Take measures to reduce the risk and prevent loss. All right? Thank you so much for listening. I will see you next time. Before then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>